Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Angela, and today's video is going to be the best of 2016 beauty video. I can never get my titles right. I'll just title it whatever and then you guys will know. Um, but yeah, I thought I didn't have so many to show you guys, but suddenly my bag is filled with, oh, it's really heavy, filled with products. So I'll just pick up whatever I can and I'll just go through them as quick as I can as well. So for skin products, this one I really loved a lot. This is the Belief, the True Whitening Cream. It works best with the whole range of products, which is like the whitening essence and the face wash and all of that. But this alone as well worked really well and this is the one product that I would miss if I ever stop using it and at this point in time I stopped using it and I, I do miss it I stopped it because I'm trying other products out as well but once I'm done with the trial process I'm going to go back to this right away because this is amazing makes your skin hydrated it brightens your skin yeah I cannot complain at all my skin looked beautiful with this and then I've got for foundation this is the one foundation that I loved uh, 2016 because it makes your skin look so natural, makes your skin look dewy and moisturized. I have combination skin, which means I have dry patches and I have oily patches as well. And my skin just looked so real when I used this foundation. Um, of course, the color, I need to tint it a little bit with something darker, but otherwise it's fine. This is the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. Love. And then, highlighters were really big, right? Highlighters were really big in uh, 2016. So my favourite highlighters are from Becca. I've never used highlighters ever before. Before this I didn't use highlighters. So like look at this. This is Champagne Pop. I actually swatched it on my hand earlier because I was filming this already. This is Champagne Pop. This is Hyacinth the blush, just a tiny bit of it. And then this is Moonstone by Becca. Also a light shade which is right here. All the shades are really good from um, Becca. So if you want highlighters, I think Becca is a good place to go. Really good champagne pop is a little in your face, but if you want to get out of your comfort zone, I think that's the one to start with. And then you can go on to the more crazy, like Tin Man kind of highlighters. But for me, champagne pop is as, as crazy as I will go for highlighters. But I love highlighters so much. And then blushes. Uh, definitely tart. I cannot cannot go to any other. I think tart is really amazing and my goal is actually to finish this up. The colours I have are blissful and magic. I can't wait to like be like finish it up and I'll be so happy. I'll feel like so accomplished. Okay and then I'm gonna move on to brushes. Brushes the ones that I really loved were the ones I got at the tart. Um, the, there's a Tarte gift set for Christmas. The look and feel of it is amazing. It's all gold. My favourite colour is gold. <laughs> I, my eyes just twinkle when I see gold. I get really happy. And then all the brushes are really nice and soft to a large extent. I've not, I've not felt brushes that are amazingly soft but this really works really well and they are double-ended as well. So... I don't know. You have less things, but they do more things. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Love they love these really. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna go on to face powder. Face powder mineral veil has always been the one that I've loved from Bare Minerals. It has worked for photo shoots, any photography, um, what's that? Flash lighting, things like that. It's always worked, and it has always made my face look. Uh, a little matte, not not that matte, but moving on, Laura Mercier, I've not used so much of it, but I have to say that the texture I feel once I, I go under my eyes, right, when I put this under my eye and then I touch the under eye area of my face, I, I was astonished because it felt so soft and I've never felt that before, soft and smooth and I was like, what? A powder can do that and I've not really experienced that much so thumbs up okay and then talking about face or under eye area for concealer this one by Tarte oh no I forgot to bring my MAC one my MAC palette the one that I always use that's a that's a beauty favorite for 2016 as well you can always see 
me using that in all my makeup videos. But this one, the Tarte, Tarte um, Shape Tape is pretty cool as well because this one is, I can tell you this is not a concealer, it's a foundation in a concealer bottle basically. So I need to get a different colour to get it to be like a foundation shade. But as a highlighting concealer, this shade tan is really good, the shape tape. Um, very pigmented, uh, but quite lightweight. Does it crease? Yeah, it does because like my eye is that way. But yeah, I know here on YouTube, people like to exaggerate a lot of things. Oh, it doesn't crease. <laughs> Well, what works for one person doesn't work for another person. You know, this, this whole world is so diverse, you can't expect someone to be exactly the same as you. So, um, just be prepared that sometimes when you buy things and people rave about it, they may not turn out as you wish for yourself. But really expensive, this one. Um, it might as well be a foundation. To be honest, I think this is a foundation in a bottle. Okay, lipsticks! Lipsticks, so many you guys! I love all my lipsticks. Okay, this one is my Oxblood. Love, love, love Oxblood. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is I like the Burberry, um, what are they called? Lip Velvets. Love these. Matte yet creamy at the same time. I like that look so much. And then, I've never worn glosses ever. So this product really got me thinking about wearing glosses. See, I put gloss on my lips and then my hair is sticking at me. <laughs> so high maintenance! The only time I liked gloss was, I can't talk properly right now. I think G and L is really hard to pronounce together. Gloss, gloss. Okay, um, yeah. So the only time that I actually liked glosses was when I was a kid. Okay, I don't mean kid. When I was a teenager, I used to watch all... I used to watch, I used to read all the teenage magazines and all the girls had glossy lips and then they'd always sell glosses, advertisements and stuff. And I was so into them, but I never wore makeup when I was a teenager. Which is why now I'm going crazy with makeup because now, finally, I can choose for myself whether to wear makeup or not. Um, but generally, I didn't wear any glosses because, like, I'm so... It's, I find it's high maintenance and I'm very low maintenance when it comes to looks. I don't like to have to put on too much makeup and I don't like to have to put in too much effort to maintain my look throughout the day. Which is also why I like matte lipsticks. But these changed my mind. This is from Essence. It's the liquid lipstick which is not at all a matte liquid lipstick. In fact, it's just it, it's a hybrid between a gloss and a lipstick in liquid form and these make me think to myself like wow like glossy juicy lips look so beautiful and these are I can tell you I think they are a dupe to the NARS lip glide seriously they are so pigmented they are so beautiful they stay on so long and glossy and comfortable to wear so love these from Essence then lipsticks Lipsticks, my Chanel lipsticks, the Rouge Allure Velvets. Oh my gosh, I love them, especially when I can do this. Ah, did you see that? Okay, let's let's see that again. Ah, it's like it's like some. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, but basically, look at them. They're so beautiful. It's gold. Very beautiful colors. Um, Rouge Chanel totally got me after I saw Priyanka Chopra wearing that shade. I was like, oh, but this is not. Rouge Chanel, the one that I showed you earlier is Rouge Chanel. Let me show you again. It's red. It's red. It's a beautiful red. See, it's like a corally red. Like if you put it on Indian skin tone, it turns red, but on others, it can be corally. Okay, now let's talk about some other liquid lipstick hybrid, whatever. This is also from Chanel. I love these so much. These are the only two that I got, but I'm so happy with them. These are, what are they called again? I forgot what they're called. Rouge Allure Inks. And they are in this maroony shade, dark red type of shade, and in this pinky red type of shade. It's a pink for me, for others it's a red. So, love the look of it, love the way it applies. I've got a video um, swatching them so you guys can see. I will link them, whatever can be helpful. Any video I've done before that is helpful about these products, you guys can see. And if I haven't done videos about these, I will do them soon and hopefully I can link them here as well. Love. And then, liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks. Did I actually talk about these yet? Not yet. Okay, before liquid lipsticks, let's talk about some matte lipsticks as well. From Gosh, these beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. Love them. Um, they are so 
long wearing, they are so matte, they are so beautiful, the colours are vibrant, love them so much from Gosh. Then this one I use all the time, this is the Revlon Colour Burst uh, Matte Balm. This is really my go-to product, lip product. I want to finish this, my goal is to finish all these products that I started using quite some time ago, I need to finish them. And then liquid lipsticks, um, I, I like the Kat Von D liquid lipstick, um, Lolita is my favourite everyday colour. I cannot find them right now so I'll, I'll just show you one <laughs> mini lipstick and then this one by Tarte this shade is like my favorite Tarte lip shade it's called TBT my sister gave me this one for Christmas and then uh, mascara I've got a few but the one I lived in throughout the year not really throughout the year but most of the year was Silky Girl which I can't believe I'm saying but it's the Silky Girl blackest black what's the name Lash Prism Mascara. Yeah, this one is amazing and it washes off for those of you who don't like to take off um, really hard wearing eye mascara, then this one's good, you can wash it off. It's like a tubing mascara, so tubes of things will just come off your lashes. The fibers come off. And then for normal mascaras, they're real from Benefit and Too Faced Better Than Sex. Both, I think, amazing. This one, doesn't smudge as much as this one, but both smudge, so I've got nothing to say. All mascaras smudge on me, no matter what I do, no matter if I powder. I will try powdering more, but other than that, I think they all smudge, so I'm not going to complain much. They have really, yeah, they have really good shapes. I don't know what I'm doing opening these things and all that, but <laughs> what, what do you get out of me opening it so you can see the lash one is it? Oh, what's my problem? Seriously. So I like to get things in mini form because I don't wear mascara much, you guys know. And also, I don't think they last very long. Also, I have sensitive eyes. So like, I think within using it for two months, three months, my eyes, less than that also, I can actually get like infections and stuff. So s the smaller, the better for mascara. For eyeliner, these two. Okay, this one, this is from Essence, the eyeliner pen that's waterproof. Wow, this is quite amazing. I didn't know it would be so easy to draw eyeliner with this product. This is so cheap, so affordable, so good to use. Definitely you guys have to get this. And then the next one, also, also a drugstore product. This one is from Miss Teen. It's a Thai brand. Wow, this brand I love, you guys. When you go to Thailand, go ahead and get all these products from Miss Teen. Uh, but I got to tell you, when I was in Thailand, it was so hard to find all of these. I don't know if they were sold out or what. Uh, but this super black fixed liner, amazing as well. Look at that, that tip. It's the same as the Essence one. Really black and really easy to draw your, your eyeliner. Really easy for fine lines and all. Amazing. And then, finally, liquid lipsticks. Okay. Matte liquid lipsticks from Colourpop are amazing, I love them, but I also have the Ultra Satin ones. Ah, this, this is a beautiful shade. Uh, I've not shown these products, I will actually swatch them for you guys to see so you, you can see. Really beautiful. And that's about all the products, beauty products for 2016. I really hope you like this video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and also click on the notification button so that you will actually see more videos from me. Uh, when I actually upload them and also this year I am going to upload more videos so please please subscribe so that you can see them and if you have any ideas on what you would like to watch if you have any requests please let me know in the comments down below so that I can actually cater to your requests so thank you guys for watching happy 2017 see you guys next time bye